How I make Gojo's eye realistic in Photoshop Sketch out the idea very quickly, it doesn't have to look good Using this image as a base, I flip it horizontally and put it into position Very nice Now to make it epic <laughs> I get this image of a person with white eyelashes off Google, change the blending mode and use some warp to make it into the position for some nice realistic eyelashes. Now I repeat the same process for the skin. Copy paste an image, warp it to the right shape and change the blend mode to something that looks good. I also do this again with another skin texture for some extra details. My eye looks kind of flat so I want to add some veins. Rinse and repeat the same process once again. Slap in an image, add a little bit of warp to it, shape it, mess around with the blend modes until I find something that I like. Then just remove all the other parts that I don't want. So I'm just left with the white of the eye with all those realistic veins. So much better. His eye is already looking pretty good but I think I can still bring it up to another level of detail with the cloud texture from Google because that's for some reason what it reminded me of so you know the drill at this point I'm messing around with the blending modes for a little bit of this one and I erased the middle part because it was washing it out too much and removing some of that contrast with the iris I went with another blend mode that looked good but now I still have to get that contrast back I'm gonna just use another image to do it, which is probably the better way anyway. I also mess around with adding a new tear duct, but you'll see I remove this later because it doesn't really work and look good before. When I flip the canvas it allows me to see it from a fresh perspective so I can find some more things to improve which I do. I see it's a bit flat under his eye because I washed out most of the detail with the skin texture. So using a multiply layer with the airbrush I add some shadows back under the eye and above it as well. So the colour variation is more realistic as well as it looking like the eye has some more depth now. <laughs> Now that is pretty sweet, so on to the final steps. I'm just doing some adjustments with a camera raw filter. I have no clue the math behind how any of the sliders work, so I basically just move them around randomly until it looks good. With this one as I went I started to get a certain feel, so I just tried to enhance it with a sort of cinematic look I guess. Okay. Make me feel, 
Don't waste the time I might understand Nobody can hold down I won't give up But in my life Cause my life is a living forever I tried putting it into an AI image upscaler, but it just washed it out a bit, which I didn't like. So instead I just used the original one, then added a bit of chromatic aberration by distorting each colour channels individually a little bit. I don't know why it works, but I think it makes it look a bit better as an effect at the end. Also, you can hopefully see that during this entire process, I'm trying to zoom out as much as possible, so I don't get caught up in all the small details, and I'm still looking at the overall feel. Finally, I had the text Your Week or Your Wine Moth, as Gojo says in Jujutsu Kaisen, which is a nice finishing touch, which I make very easily with just blending options using the drop shadow softly behind it and the stroke to make it a bit thicker. And that's it! I hope this was helpful into my process of making it. it took around an hour in total, and I'm fairly happy with the way it turned out.